What's up guys? I just got back from a run. I decided that I'm gonna start running again. I haven't run in six months. So I'm literally starting over at day one. I ran for like 15 minutes. Half of that was actually running. The other half was walking. So literally starting from day one, but uh, I'm getting back into it. Oh, and by the way, you're practicing guitar all wrong. Let me get out of these clothes real. So if you've ever followed a workout program before, you'll notice that you don't do the same lifts every day. Heck, you might even do different lifts every week. Gets wall. Guitar is no different. So why are you practicing the same thing every day? Hey, it's Ryan with Sustain and Resonance, putting the guitar lessons and advice of the internet to the test so that you can level up your playing faster. Today we're gonna to talk about practice routines. If you're not seeing the results that you want on guitar, you might be practicing wrong. An athlete will train three to five days a week with rest in between. You'll notice that they don't train the same things every day too. Um, on Tuesdays, you might have chest day with back day and shoulders. Uh, on Thursdays, you might have leg day. So you're not working the same muscles every week uh, or every day. And this way, you get plenty of rest. And with weight training or running or cardio, all those different kinds of workouts, rest is paramount uh, and almost more important than the actual lifts themselves. Your muscles need a rest and guitar training is no different. So if you practice the same scale every day for a week, at the end of the week, you know one scale. That's great. You know a shape of a scale, but how do you use it to combat the mundaneness of running through, insert whatever musical thing that you want to practice, I've created the ultimate training schedule. I put a link in the description below if you want a printout version. In my ultimate practice schedule, I laid out the five areas of guitar playing that I want to improve on. Music theory, ear training, technique, improv, and songwriting. Based on those five areas, let's create a weekly schedule that we can work on each of these items, uh, one per day. So Monday we'll do music theory, Tuesday we'll do ear training, Wednesday we'll work on some kind of technique, Thursday we'll work on improv, and Friday we'll work on songwriting. So let's take something that we want to learn this week. For this example I'll use the C major scale. Now let's implement the C major scale onto that weekly schedule that I just laid out for you. So now while athletes train um, three to five days a week, uh, the most successful athletes or um, the ones that see the most results uh, or the best results fast know that they need to limit their practice, uh, limit their training. You don't see athletes training for like eight hours a day, like we work eight hours a day, right? So you need to practice guitar uh, or at least do uh, deep practicing. Uh, we consider this kind of training uh, deep practicing and you want to limit this to only an hour a day. That's not to say that you can't practice, you know, mindlessly in front of the TV while you run through scales after this, but if you want to see great improvements, you have to have deep, uh, thoughtful practice at least an hour a day. No more than an hour and a half a day. So on Monday, it's music theory. We'll practice the scale of C major, and if we know that, maybe we'll work on the theory behind it. We'll know that it has zero sharps and zero flats. Uh, maybe we'll work on chord progressions that are built within the C major scale. Uh, we can work on the C major modes. Um, but on Monday, we're going to work on strictly the theory behind C major. On Tuesday, we're going to work on ear training. So what I usually do is Google songs that are in the key of C major. And then I'll listen to them, and then I'll figure out how to play them, either the chords or the melodies or the riffs, using only my ears. But this way, we get our ears trained to say, hey, this is a C major sound, and you get the benefit of practicing learning new songs using only your ears. Wednesday is our technique day. We'll take that C major scale and learn a new technique using only that scale. It might be slide guitar, we're playing the scale using only a slide. Um, maybe it's hammer-ons or pull-offs, playing that scale using only hammer-ons or pull-offs. Um, whatever technique that you want to learn that day, learn it using that C major scale that you learned on Monday. This way it keeps on fortifying your knowledge that you've learned um, throughout the week. Now we're on to Thursday. Thursday is my favorite day of all, it's improv day. So what we want to do is find either a, a C major backing track 
or if you have a looping station or loop pedal, uh, play a C major uh, chord progression that you learned on Tuesday or that you made up on Tuesday and uh, loop that and then improvise over that. At first it's going to sound really easy, you're going to have so many ideas, but if you've never done something like this for an hour, um, you're going to start finding yourself running into barriers of what do I play next? It's been 30 minutes, oh I'm already playing this, I'm already playing play that. Uh, it really gets your mind to start thinking outside of this box of comfortability that you're used to. So improvising for an hour on uh, one scale and one chord progression will really help you uh, become more of a creative person. Now Friday is songwriting day and this is where everything that we've worked on throughout the week comes together. So we'll take that C major chord that we established in the beginning of this is the week of C major and we're going to write a song in C major. Uh, you came up with some chord progressions, maybe you use that in a chord progression. On Wednesday we practiced some techniques, um, maybe it was slide, so this is going to be, this week it's going to be a slide uh, song and C major using the chord progression that you used. If you were following along, uh, hopefully when you improvise, you were using the techniques that you were working on uh, on Wednesday. Sure you could add in other techniques uh, throughout the songwriting process, but the focus of the songwriting should be implementing everything that you learned uh, the previous four days into one song. Now, it's the end of the week, and instead of just learning the C major scale, you learn the C major scale, the theory behind it, um, you practice some ear training so your ears are more familiar with the C major scale. You practice uh, some kind of new technique, whether it's um, legato, uh, tapping, whatever have you. You practice your uh, improv, and you practice your song. You have a new song at the end of the week. So if you practice the same thing for a week straight, you will know the C major scale. And if you do it my way, you have the C major scale, a new technique, uh, improved ears, improved improvisational skills, and a new song. So next week, I plan on practicing each one of these uh, in my practice routine, and I'm gonna live stream it for you guys. So tune in next week, starting on Monday. Uh, it's gonna be around six or seven o'clock. I'll send out a tweet um, before I do it. And I'm gonna go into uh, uh, what each day looks like. So on Monday, I'm gonna work on music theory. You're gonna see how I practice and I, I approach my music theory um, regimen. And I can answer any questions you guys have. Um, go into further detail about each day and what I'm really focusing on each day so you can have an understanding of how to build your own practice routine. And I hope to see you there. Uh, I should note that by no means is this routine just for scales. It could be for chords, it could be for arpeggios, it could be for whatever you want to work on, right? There are ways to implement this practice routine with any area that you want to improve on in guitar playing. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you on Monday uh, and all throughout next week during the live feeds. And until next time, let the music play. Thank you.